Automation and Intelligence for the Future. This is AI Expo Africa, and we're here speaking to the CEO and founder of Retina AI, Dr. Stephen Adaibo. Dr. Adaibo, the, the presentation this morning was so exciting. Can you just bring us up to speed with our, our viewers on, on YouTube? Um, it, uh, I, when I, I was very excited to get invited. It's a great honor. For me, it's like a homecoming, you know, being back here in Africa. That's true. You're Nigerian, right? I am. Yes. Yeah, I was born yeah. in Nigeria, and uh, I grew up here. I left for the U.S. when I was 17. Oh. Now I'm a U.S. citizen, so I'm American and I'm Nigerian. Uh, but to have given the plenary keynote uh, was definitely a homecoming and a great honor. Yeah, very excited. How, so how long have you been in the U.S.? You've been educated there and worked there for a while now. Right. Since I was 17. So I've spent most of my life in the U.S. I am, that's over 20 years, and uh, I'm now 38, and so I've spent more time in the U.S. than in then, Nigeria, then in but Africa. both places are home. Yes. Yeah. It's nice to have that cross-continent, and that's not the only thing that you cross-siloed. You also have two very different educational backgrounds, right? Correct. Correct. So I have the distinction of being the only ophthalmologist in the world with advanced degrees in math and computer science, and I've been able to leverage that. So Retina AI recently um, developed and released the world's first mobile AI app for eye care providers. And basically you take a picture with the mobile app of a scan of the retina that immediately goes into the cloud, computes with machine learning, and returns an answer as to whether that patient has uh, fluid in or under the retina or not. And if they do, they have to be seen and taken care of. And how, when you say it goes into the cloud, you, you've obviously processed a lot of data to, to get that knowledge, to, to get that yes or no. You were talking about the, the binary, that it immediately generates an answer within or under a minute. Correct, correct. So we have to train the algorithm mm -hmm. with a lot of data that's labeled, and after that's trained, we did that, we then went ahead and put that in the cloud and then wired it up to a mobile device. And the success rate's really high. Success rate's really high. So we're currently testing it. Uh, it's been validated in something called the Datum trial. And right now, we're, the average is anywhere, from, the range that we're getting um, by board certified ophthalmologists is anywhere from 82% to 94%. And uh, we're confident that we can continue to increase that because the beauty of machine learning is that it continues to get better with the more exposure that it has to data. The more data it has. Yeah. And why Retina AI? Why would you start the company? I'm, is it really difficult for people to, to diagnose this, these diseases or? Access to care is a big issue. Okay. So in the United States, there are less than 3,000 um, ophthalmologists. Um, there are less than 3,000 retina specialists, such as myself. So even in the US, there's a big problem of care access. For instance, I lived in a town called Dubuque. Uh, it's uh, at the corner of Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa. And within a 40 mile radius, I was the only of the, um, retina specialist living there. Now, when you come to Africa, it's an even bigger problem. Like my home country of Nigeria, for instance, has probably less retina specialists than I can count on one hand. So I'm really driven and passionate about making a difference here, you know, as a follower of Christ, which is central to my identity, as well as being an African, I feel a sense of obligation to make a big difference here, and my company has an enormous opportunity to do that. We are, we are ahead of the pack. We've put out the world's first mobile AI app for this, and we know this is going to become a space. We know we've pioneered something that's going to become real, um, and our true heart is for people to get access, and we're gonna run with the momentum that we've built. That's amazing. And you did mention that you are looking for funding or that you are in your first round. We are, we are currently, yes, we are open for capital at this time. We are in conversations with a number of venture capitalists, uh, as well as angels, as well as just potentially awesome partners. A lot of great people. There's a lot of alignment that we're starting to see. Um, the vision and the passion that we have for doing this, and more, very importantly, the fact that we've executed. There's been a lot of talk about AI. AI has gotten enormous amount of media coverage and attention, but there, there are actually few people that have actually delivered a product in AI that's on the market. Our product is called Fluid Intelligence, and it's available for download on the App Store. And it's been used in the United States, in Latin America, in Africa, before we downloaded it, and using it, because we can track that. And so it's actually being used, and that's very exciting for us. That is very exciting, because I think a lot of what happens is there's people are in the concept phase, and yes. they're seeking investment in a concept phase, right. whereas you have the proof of the pudding, proof you've, of the pudding. you've rolled it out, you've got feedback, you've 
passed all the tests you've required and so you're investing in a winning horse. Thank you. We, we think so too. Great. And uh, it's been huge. Uh, we've gotten calls and we've gotten attention from a lot of places and people know that we now have the capacity to deliver um, and also the innovation advantage, which um, it's an interesting time in history. Uh, a time when small companies, companies as tiny as myself, um, I, I, I often say we, I always say we when I talk about Retina AI, uh, but people that know the insides know that um, I built the entire system myself. Uh, I'm a Retina specialist, I did the label and did front end, back end um, mobile development, did the training of the machine learning algorithm, as well as the uh, data processing on the end and security. Um, and I'm, I've, I'm delighted that I've had the opportunity to use my cross training uh, in this way. It's an important time in history, a time when small companies, companies as tiny as one person, this time next year we're not going to be one person, we're going to be much larger, um, but companies as tiny as one person with the right set of skills can disrupt an entire industry. Uh, and I think AI is going to, we're going to see a lot of positive change, uh, especially in healthcare. Yeah, I think that's the most beautiful thing about this time right now is that you're right, one person can really change and ripple effect over the entire world and I'm looking forward to watching Retina AI do just that. Thank you for spending time with us and we hopefully will see you again next year. Thank you Chantel. Thank you for having me.